Hello again. I had a question from a viewer regarding punching holes. They said they're trying, but they're having trouble getting the slug to clear completely. So I thought we would take just a little bit of time and specifically discuss the technique of punching and some of the things that might make your life a little bit easier. We've talked about punching, I've shown punching, but it hasn't really been specifically the punching that we've been talking about. It's been project based. So let's just talk about hot punching and only hot punching for just a few minutes. The first issue with punching is often just your punch. You notice this punch is bent and deformed and it's mushroomed and it's rounded and it's really in terrible shape and that punch is not going to punch cleanly. It's going to be a lot harder to get a good hole with it than a punch that's in proper condition. This is the punch we just made the other day. It's flat across the bottom, straight down the sides, and there is no rounding on the edge. This is as sharp as this punch can be, and you need that to shear the slug out. So make sure your punch is good and flat, sharp corners here, it should be uncomfortably sharp. And that holds true whether it's a big slot punch, a little slot punch, or a square punch. And you can punch square holes. You can punch just about any shape hole you want if you make a punch to do it. So I have a piece of material hot. I'm going to take my punch, put it where I want it, and I'm going to dry straight down until it bottoms out on the anvil. If you need to, cool your punch. Now that's not going any deeper. You can see a shadow right here where that punch mark was. That's where I want to go from the top, or from the back side. I should put a glove on, this is kind of hot. And you want to start punching through again. Then go over to the Pritchell hole, so you can punch through. and that should knock the slug out. Now, it isn't always perfect and that's what the viewer was commenting on is that it didn't get that to clear out. And that's mostly at this point a lineup problem. But you can clean that up. We can take another heat and clean the punch, punched hole up. But We have a nice square hole there that would be perfect for a carriage bolt. So let's do that with a round punch, take a closer look. Go until that feels like it's not going any deeper. Maybe even give it another, another try there. You can see this target effect here. I hope you can see that clearly on the camera. Center your punch over that. If you're lucky, it'll actually knock the slug out. That slug's loose right there. The only reason it doesn't fall out is because we're right at the anvil. If you want to make this really a nice clean hole, get yourself a bolster block with a hole the size of your punch and punch through into that and that makes a much cleaner hole than punching over the, the Pritchell hole. And this is our slug right here. That is all the slug there is. Cool the punch as often as you need. Now this gets cooler as you're doing that, and that's to your benefit. One, it makes it easier to find this side, but two, it's easier for it to shear through that last little bit if it's cold. Now you don't want it too cold to start with, but you do want it cold when you're done. So here is the piece we've been working on. This camera doesn't do close-ups very well, so I hope you can see this. This is that last hole we started to punch cut in half. And you can see how thin this material is 
right here. That's how thin you want to get that. You want to get it just as close to being punched all the way through as you can from one side. And even now you can still see the little halo mark to help line up your, your punch on the back side. Well, I hope that answered your question. I know the specific question was about slot punching the piece for the, the bottle opener. It is not uncommon for those to have a little bit of trouble coming out. Sometimes you need to grab them with a pair of pliers or vice grips or tongs and bend it back and forth and break it out or stuff it back in the hole and finish punching it from the side it's stuck to, flip it over one more time. It's a nuisance, but it does happen. A bolster plate that is exactly that size pretty much solves the problem. And if you're going to do a lot of punching of any given size with a slot punch, it's worth the time to make a, an oval bolster plate. It's just use the same punch. You'll have to clean it up, maybe do a little filing to make it all fit, but it does work. So, again, I hope that answered your question. Uh, I may try to do a little bit more on bolster plates and slot punching later. But I thought I'd squeeze this in just before I went in for the night. And we'll see how it does. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye.